Hey, hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? AZD here, and what's going on? Today, I want to talk about Bitcoins, cryptocurrency, and how I lost money in Bitcoins. I lost money in cryptocurrency, and I'm going to get into a few stories, a few backstories about it, as well as what's going on with Bitcoins now and the cryptocurrency market. So, the way I lost money in Bitcoins by the market dipping, and what I'm talking about is it being up almost like $55,000, $60,000. Bitcoin is worth about $55,000, $60,000 and it's up there. And then all of a sudden it dropped, you know, it dropped, dropped, dropped. So if you didn't take any profit, if you didn't um, realize that it's gonna take a decline and you start to, and you wasn't taking off profits off the top as it was rising up, that's how you lose money with Bitcoins. Now, in this last couple of sessions, I lost money with Bitcoins, but I also made money with Bitcoins going down because I was able to catch some of it before it dipped down. Now, say, for example, um, I bought some Satoshis at the price of, um, say, say Bitcoins at the time was about um, $45,000, right? So say it was about $45,000 and it went up to $60,000. And at the point it started to drop down at around fifty-five, fifty-four thousand dollars $54,000, I would take some profit off. Now, if I didn't do that and take some profit off and it dipped all the way down to $35,000, which where is it at? Which where it came down to, then I would lose some profits. Then I would lose a lot of money with Bitcoins because it passed that $45,000 level that I purchased at. Now, with that said, in this current bull run, I am definitely profiting off of Bitcoins. Even though Bitcoin definitely had a big decline recently, I was able to still make some money off the profit off the top while it was rising up. Now, the reason why I said I lost money in Bitcoins, because when I first got involved in Bitcoins was back in 27, 2018. And at that time, 27, 2018, that was a bull run session. A bull run session was going up. It was looking good. There was a lot of all coins over there. There was a lot of companies dealing with um bitcoins and cryptocurrencies and helping people invest their cryptocurrency and invest their bitcoins and and able to earn gains off their bitcoins having their bitcoin grow within like certain um like certain wallets and stuff like that so you put a certain amount of bitcoin into a company's wallet and as it grows they kind of matches like a, a percentage of gain and they'll give it to you back but what happened in 2017 while i was doing that I wasn't taking um, the profits that I was supposed to be taking because I kept huddling it into it, thinking that the market was going to go like skyrocket up. At that time, it was about, I got involved, it was about $15,000 and it went up to a, about the point of um, 19000 almost maybe 20000 Not exactly sure about the right numbers, but the end of 2017, the beginning of 2018, it was up there. So I started probably like fourteen, fifteen thousand, 15000 and skyrocketed up to like nineteen, twenty thousand dollars 20000 So... I was investing in Bitcoins. And when I say investing in Bitcoins, I don't mean buying a whole Bitcoin because honestly, I didn't have any money to buy a whole bunch of Bitcoins. What I was doing was accumulating Satoshis. What Satoshi is, is a percentage of Bitcoin. So for example, 0 0.001 Bitcoin probably was, last year probably was about $10. When the bull market hit this year and it skyrocketed, that $10 went up to $100. So with that said, now going back to 2017, with the market going up and I have Satoshis, which is percentages of Bitcoin, those Satoshis was growing. So I was accumulating Satoshis, um, purchasing a small here, small there, earning Satoshis off of different projects, doing surveys online, doing different online things that was paying me out in cryptocurrency. And I was putting these cryptocurrencies in a wallet. But what started to happen now in uh, the beginning of 2018, it started to dip and it was dipping, it's dipping. And at the time, I I wasn't involved in cryptocurrency, so I wasn't really a, so I wasn't really experienced or have any knowledge of how cryptocurrency work or how Bitcoin work or how the the measurement of how volatile it is. I mean, it can go up and down, up and down, fly all the way up, and you'd be profiting and it come back down. So, not knowing that Bitcoin is so uh, volatile, I wasn't taking off profits while it was going up. So 2018, about um, February, March 2018, it started to take a, a, a very severe decline. I mean, it was going down like crazy. So at that time, um, I sold some at a loss and I still huddled onto some. And about the 
towards the, the third, fourth quarter of 2018, when it was almost at the bottom, I still was having thoughts of, okay, it might go up, it might go up. So I still purchased some Satoshis, Bitcoins, which is a percentage of Bitcoins. So I purchased some Bitcoins. I'm just going to say that. So I purchased some Bitcoins, percentage of Bitcoins. And at that time, the market was like, it was it was low. It was low. I, I forgot how much. So say at the, the end of the 2018, in the fourth quarter of 2018, I had about maybe... At the time, my wallet, my portfolio wallet was in the thousands of dollars. And at the end of 2018, after selling some off the loss and huddling some, the the um the price of the Bitcoin, after huddling some, the price of the Bitcoin was declining. So that the, the asset price was declining. And at the time, I wasn't exactly sure what to do. So basically, I was hearing people saying, okay, just huddle, just huddling, huddling, huddling. So I was like, okay, um, the amount of money that I had into the wallet at the time, or mind you, it was over thousands of dollars, up like two, three thousand dollars, probably even more at the time, including some of the money which I put with other companies, which end up some of them end up going out of business because they was like for gazy type companies, which was another lesson I learned from 2017, which how I lost money with bitcoins because I put money with some companies thinking that they were going to be able to invest it and I was able to gain gains off it, which I was at first, but then once the market declined and um bitcoins was going down and all the cryptocurrencies was going down all the altcoins i only had a few altcoins which i thought was altcoins because some some of them actually now don't even exist now what i mean by altcoins is any other coin other than bitcoin so you have your ethereum litecoin ether classic um right now you have your cardano but back then it was like litecoin and ethereum so i had a little bit of litecoin and stuff like that but like i said once the market took a plunge everything went boom. So the end of 2018, in that wallet, I had about, I say probably about $150, $160, about $160 at the end of 2018 in that wallet. So I was just, I just let it stay there, just huddled it. And I had some, probably like another $100 in another wallet that I can't even get access to right now. And that's it probably got, I say probably about $1,000, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. We're going to talk about it in another video. So with that said, the, the market went down. So the 2018, like I was saying, I had about $150, $160 huddling into that wallet, into one of the crypto exchanges. So wasn't paying it in mind, you know, here and there, look at it a few and the years go by, the years go by, look at it few and few. Then come, what year was that? 2020. 2020 had about $150, $160 in that wallet. <laughs> and it went down to about... uh forgot how much i think it was like 80 or 90 dollars so it went down by half but then after the whole pandemic started to settle through and stimulus checks came out and the market started to climb back up a lot of people start to see more value into the having bitcoin as an asset and as a storage of value for their money see what happened when the pandemic hit, a lot of people had scarcity. So a lot of people were selling off their Bitcoins and selling off their Ethereum, selling off their uh, cryptocurrency. And it, it, at the time, it was just it was just free fall, it free fall. So uh, Bitcoins in the March, in the March, it went down to about three thousand dollars. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Imagine grabbing up a, a Bitcoin at three thousand dollars right now. You even with the market drop right now. To where Bitcoin is about thirty-one thousand, thirty-two thousand dollars, you still had about what a ten x, probably even more than that return. Yeah, probably more than a ten x. What is that? A hundred? Yeah, about a hundred x return. So I don't even know. Check my math and leave it in the comment. So with that said, right? I don't know. So right. So anyways, so having a hundred, so having um the ninety dollars into that wallet over after the um. After the pandemic happened now and the market started to grow up, that money in that wallet started to increase. So I said, oh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is on the move right now. So I decided to put a little bit here and there and I started accumulating more cryptocurrency again by doing the surveys, doing these different apps, um, downloading apps, testing out apps and the things like that. And they will pay you out in cryptocurrency like Bitcoins or Ethereum, mostly Bitcoin. So I started accumulating, accumulating $10 here, $20 here over the summer of 2020. Now in September of 2020, September, October, somewhere around there, it was what they call the halving of Bitcoin. So every four years, Bitcoins go through a halving process where 
due to the blockchain technology in the program, it's only able to, um, the, the supply basically goes down and it's only a limit supply at that time. It, it cuts in half. So all the miners are trying to mine all those current. So all the miners is trying to get after all the Bitcoins because it basically cut in half. And every four years that happens, it starts to have and start to have. So that's why Bitcoin as a blockchain technology is having a lot of value as an asset of a storage of value. So I'm going to get into that into another video, exactly what Bitcoins is. But I just want to talk about this because I know a lot of people probably got involved with cryptocurrency because of such things like the meme coins, like such as Dogecoin, which I have um, holding with Dogecoin, such as um, what's the other one? Sushi. Um, what's the other one? Um, moon something was something moon that a lot of people was in. Then it's another one with a, a, a uni uni dog or something like that. But all those meme coins. A lot of people was getting to them because they was dirt cheap and people was making money. Uh, I did videos on how I made money off the Dogecoin, even that. And that was a great come up. But you had to know about how cryptocurrency worked and the volatility of cryptocurrency. So as the market continued to grow and grow, I was putting my um the, the money that I was accumulating off of doing these different projects, off of doing surveys, putting my more putting my own money into Bitcoins at what into bitcoin as well as ethereum it starts to grow it starts to grow so by um the end of 2020 after the halving now it was fluctuating it was fluctuating steady steady and it starts to go up in about november december end of october november december starts to climb it starts to climb uh january hits it goes back it goes way up to like 30 40 you know you know how it was going on through the past few months it goes all the way up to like sixty five thousand dollars. now during that time if you didn't understand it, you would have to be taking profits. So my lesson from the 2017 of watching a trend and watching what Bitcoin do and watching the pattern of Bitcoin, I learned that, okay, if I'm going to put $10 into, into this asset and within about seven to eight, nine months, it went up to $100, I need to take some profit off of it. You understand what I'm saying? Because in 2017, it was going up. I was just watching it, thinking that it's going to skyrocket all the way up, not taking any profits, losing as it goes down. Basically, could have came off more if I would have shaved off some profits. So what I was doing, and this is no financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes of what I do by um, investing and training with uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the cryptocurrency market. What I started to do from the lesson I learned from 2017 and what a lot of my coaches and people that I follow say, make sure you start to take profit once you start to go into profit. So if you if you bought a, a Bitcoin, for, say you bought 0 0.0001 Satoshi at $10 in, um, February, in uh, May of 2020, and then in uh, February, March of 2021, that $10 goes up to about a hundred something dollars. Like I said, you might as well even just take half of it profit. So over this bull run, that's what I've been doing. So I lost money with Bitcoins, but not as much as I would have lost if I would have did the same process in 2017. With that said, what I'm saying, if you're involved or if you want to get involved with the cryptocurrency, with Bitcoins, with Ethereum, you have to learn the process. So if you're going to involve, you have to learn that there's going to be some kind of risk management that's going to be involved. You have to know how much money you want to put in and how much money are you willing to lose if it declines. Now, with that said, you're not really losing money. So, for example, with that $10 I did back in in last year, I'm just going off for example, $10 off of last year, May, June, and it goes up to about a hundred and something dollars. And then it drops down to about 30 or 40 dollars. You still have some kind of growth onto that $10. Now, when they say you huddle it, you just hold on to it. Even though the market goes down, what are you doing? You're huddling onto your cryptocurrency, knowing that within the next three, four years, two, three, four years, especially when the nuts haven't come up, it's going to skyrocket. It's going to go up. But with me saying that is that now that you have to learn how Bitcoin operate, you have to learn the market, you have to learn how the chart goes. And if you're willing to invest into cryptocurrency you have to look at it as a long-term hold as a long-term investment as a long-term asset where in the next three to four years even if it declines now and you buy it at the bottom or whatever have it the next three four years it's gonna go up but with that 
said, is the bull market over? In my opinion, the bull market is not over. Right now, we're just seeing a lot of manipulation, a lot of FUDs going on. A lot of people, especially the big well, especially people with big money, is trying to manipulate it. You see, you have Elon Musk saying, oh, he's not going to accept the it anymore because he's not going to accept Bitcoins to buy Tesla anymore because of the environment. We're truly... The environment is not getting hit by mining bitcoins because bitcoins use a lot of like reusable energy and and and, and like the miners use like a lot of reusable energy so all that energy compared to like a banking system is like a small percentage right so you have big wigs like this so say for example um elon musk came in and he bought it at the 35 36 zone i believe like in the mid 30s probably he bought it at right and it fly all the way up to sixty five thousand dollars and all his friends like, yo, I heard you put a, uh, what is it, millions? I forgot how much, millions of dollars into it. So say, for example, you put $5 million. I don't even think it was that much. But say it was more than that. But say, for example, you put $5 million into it. And within three, four months, it goes up to $10 million that asset is worth. Some of his friends like, oh, man, why you ain't tell me this, this, and that? Looking at Elon Musk, Elon Musk kind of have some power. So he know how to shift the market and things like that by things that he's saying. A lot of fun, this, this, and that. Dealing with other people. So say some of his friends want to get it at that price. All of a sudden, he's going to be like, oh, you know what? Um, I'm not even a big fan of it because uh, the environment, this, this, and that. All of a sudden, it's starting to drop. And all this other stuff with the news, for example, where they're trying to say, oh, they have to start. And all this other stuff with the news, for example, they're trying to say, you know, they got to start taxing and kind of regulating the whole cryptocurrency scene and things like that. But think about it. If the big wigs missed out on the buying opportunity of, like, say, Elon Musk at $35,000 for Bitcoin and went up to almost $65,000, don't you think, like, some of his millionaire friends or somebody like that, other people in power, the big wells, they like, hey, let's start manipulating this so we can get that at the buying power because you have all these other retail investors, a lot of people, average people who really don't know how cryptocurrency work and how the market works. Even even people who are experiencing it really didn't expect it to, to react like that. So say, for example, a, a big wig or a big well such as Elon Musk start um, putting you know, some kind of propaganda out there saying, oh, it's not all of what it seemed to be. All of a sudden, you're going to see the market drop down. That's looking out for his friends in a way like, look, now the market is dropping. You better get in before it goes back up. So it'll give them the buying power for about the same prices that he had. And once that goes in and the institution goes in and the retailers goes in and everybody else goes in, next thing you know, it's going to fly up to people saying it's going to project it to go up to like 80 to to $100,000 per Bitcoin. Not exactly sure, but all I know is right now it's just manipulation. It's some kind of FUD to shake people out of acquiring Bitcoins or keeping their Bitcoins. Some people I know bought Bitcoins when it was like in the 55 zone and now they want to sell off because it dropped down to 35 zone, but you don't want to do that. You want to huddle it. Even if you bought it up at 55 and you think, oh, it dropped down, let me at least sell off something. You're selling off at a loss. Whereas if you hold on, even if it doesn't go up, say we really on the, on the edge of the, of the bull market and we bought the end of the bear market. Even if you have that and the having season go in the next four years and you have your uh, uh, price range where you bought it at, at a, what I said about $55,000 or whatever, and you want to sell it at 35, instead of you selling at 35, you huddle it for about the next three to four years when the having happens again, because when the having happens again, price is definitely going to go up. So that $55,000 that you spent on a Bitcoin is probably going to go up to $120,000, $125,000, $150,000, Maybe even two hundred thousand dollars within the next three four years after the next having session if it doesn't do it within this current bull session. So with that said, if you're interested in cryptocurrency, that's a good move. I'm not a financial advisor, nothing like that. This is just for entertainment, educational purposes. Um, I was a beginner in cryptocurrency. I've learned, so now I'm like a, a what intermediate, moderate kind of trader. I do a little swing trading with Ethereum and things like that. So it's a good thing to learn because um, it's just a great market to be, just the, the volatility of it and everything. You're, you're able to get some good gains off of it, especially during a bull market. 
So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, if you have your cryptocurrency, I recommend just hodling onto it. Then let's even the meme coins, even if you have some dodge coins, just even hard into it. No sell your stuff off yet. See how the market works. Then go back to the drawing board. Look at the charts. Pull back. Relax some. If you got a harder, you harder. If you want to take some profit when it goes back up, make sure you take some profit. Make sure you take some profit. So with that said, I hope you got some value out of this. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the video and share it with your friends so they can also have some information about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and how it can work out for them. Well, that's my little story about how I lost money with Bitcoins. And at the same time, I was able to gain money with Bitcoins. So once again, it's NZD. Continue to be safe out there. Peace.